Capricorns, welcome. I'm doing a reading called What's Their Secret? And so far it's been um, on the last four readings, first four I've done, uh, we're looking at what maybe people are harboring in terms of who they are and what they choose not to tell you about themselves, right? Within the context of your relationship. But let's see what the tarot uh, decides to tell you about this person. <laughs> We're going to start right away. Okay. I'm going to pull more right away. I'm going to tell you what the cards are afterward. cards are in reverse <laughs> yikes <laughs> i shouldn't say that because obviously some cards in reverse are better than upright so we have the four of pentacles the five of cups the nine of pentacles the ten of swords the warrior of swords is the knight of swords the queen of cups and the eight of cups in reverse everything in reverse so I'm going to isolate uh, the three swords card are together. Uh, so that looks like a group, like a pack. There's a lot of letting go energy on this um, reading. And yet there's also a strong attachment, emotional attachment uh, that's showing up as well so the four of pentacles is absolutely um opening up letting things be almost giving it to a higher power you know it's not of your doing it's not in your control it's accepting that and and absolutely relinquishing any form of a holding on clinging if you want and the five of cups in reverse is showing me you're past the disappointment you're past the point of this hurts me this bothers me this um, is actually weighing on me however you want to put it right the emotions I came with we'll see what <laughs> I'm thinking it, it's the interaction with you Capricorn but we'll see uh, it doesn't have to be the secret could be about Something in general doesn't have to pertain to you uh, directly. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse here is showing me the attachment piece as well as the Eight of Cups in reverse, right? So maybe we can isolate those as well separately. So strong want, or at least the idea here that being a couple or coupled is better than being alone, uh, independent, having to do everything on their own, or and also the Eight of Cups is showing me choosing not to walk away, it's literally a choice here. <clears throat> I'm sensing it's a choice, but there's a little bit of a feeling like they that is hard for them, right? Not that they cannot, but they feel like it's so difficult that it feels like they can't let you go or get fully past this attachment. And yet choosing maybe that... Um, <laughs> I don't know, like almost entertaining the little flame of love here, but I think it has to do with the idea that they don't want to be alone. They prefer to be coupled. So let's see here what the swords are saying. <laughs> 
It's funny, I said there were three cards of swords and here I am pulling the Queen of Cups down as if she was a Queen of Swords. That's interesting. I, I'm still going to leave her with these swords, but um, there's something about this, this energy. I am a little bit under the weather. I'm starting a little bit of a cold. <coughs> so you will. <laughs> I'm not even surprised that I'm, I've over, I'm not surprised that I have actually overlooked this. So this energy here is, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling um, the Queen of Cups could be them, their feelings, um, the feelings that they have or had, the ones that they're kind of over with and admitting that they can't do anything anymore, right? They can't sway um, the outcome, they can't intervene, they can't act, they can't influence, they can't change anything. They, um, the secret here is about not telling you just how much of an influence you had on them. Because they're in two energies, right? They're wanting to give it all up. They have, they know it's, it's, it's sort of unmendable ten of swords is here in reverse right there's there's no illusions here about the breakup or there's no illusion about not being able to recreate sort of almost re-inject energy into the relationship or into this just even like resuscitate, resuscitating their, their feelings for you, right? They still have feelings, but there's sort of a... Something has been broken. Something is... Um, It can't be turned around. And this is what the warrior of swords is saying. He's he's showing um, no matter how much speed and talent and energy you put into, you know, driving this thing, it's it's going nowhere. No matter how much um, especially here, the way the will this card here, the, the Knight of Swords, has a strong, strong, uh, has strong willpower. And here, um, it's obviously not being applied. It's, it's, I don't think it's even there anymore. And yet there's a lingering, um, there's a fleeting um, sense that the feelings that haven't totally disappeared. And if it's not the feelings per se, right, it's, it's how um, the person is choosing to walking out, meaning um, they're not really fully walked out. Death and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. 
you know, I think this person is, is very aware that, and I've, I have mentioned it, this, it's, it's out of their control, it's un, it's unmendable, it's impossible to retrieve, it's really over. There's not going to be any more energy um, being like sort of blown into this, right? Like the breath, no more. Um, I want to I wanna draw more cards on the nine of pentacles in reverse. Why is a person not wanting to be independent on their own, stand on their own two feet. Especially in the face of something so clear, right? And why are they not yet fully walked away? We have the High Priestess in reverse. It feels like there's still something to be said. For them at least. Especially when it comes to maybe... Um, feelings. But let's see if I can really corroborate that something about more to be said more to be revealed <laughs> the nymph of cups is the page of cups that's a strange energy in the sense that okay this happens sometimes um i don't do it on purpose but i am going to look at this when um, so I'm gonna draw this out. <clears throat> it's very clear for me now that there's um, feelings that haven't been expressed. There are emotions that are beyond words here. The Ace of Cups is here. This is no um. It's not something small. There's something greater, right? When I say that, I mean... Um, ultimately, there's, there's love between you and this person. Even if this is not going to be a relationship, this is obviously something is ended and fully um, is... How can I say? On both sides here, Capricorn, um, you and them almost like have agreed. <laughs> this is where it ends, right? This is where it stops. Like this is a, a line drawn here. The line is being drawn like it's, it's where it stops. But there's this overarching um, love something bigger out there like um it's not about saying oh i love you i want to hold your hand it's not about uh let's live together it's none of these things it's something much greater something like unconditional love something like having a bigger purpose in terms of the quality and the reason the feelings are there and why they need to be there you know, there's, there's something about a message, right? It's, it's the Page of Cups is telling you about this love and the High Priestess is revealing this love out of the depths of subconscious, maybe out of the depths of, you know, what we call the magma or the plasma, this energy that surrounds us. Do you know what I'm saying?
almost like um, it's still uh, requited, it's still it still serves a purpose it feels although it's it's very nebulous right it's it's still it comes from the depths of it's mysterious but it's it's something that needs to permeate the atmosphere and it has to be there it helps or it's i don't know if it cements anything or it has something to do with, it has its place and there's a reason for it, no matter how mysterious and unexplainable it is. And it's not about, so then for me, it's not about walking away like out of a relationship and saying, okay, I'm not going to see you anymore. It's, it's not even that. I think that is clearly done and that is the separation has been it's 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 factual right it's it's a fact <laughs> so it's it's more about um this lingering energy it's not so much wanting to come back or it's nothing like that it's just about It feels a little bit like still having something to give of oneself, right? And that and that thing that this person is giving, this sort of secretive love, is kind of like a good thing for you, right? Um, it's not going to be very overt, although there's like some form of message or there's a way that this person is communicating their love to you. It could be very energetic. I sense it's more energetic, right? Because obviously there's no um, there's no coming together. There's not uh, you guys are not a couple. That's very clear. This is a makeshift deck that I made. Okay, that's too many. I'm gonna do maybe one or two here, not more. I'm curious. Especially about the over uh, this sort of energy that that is love that is um, floating. <laughs> no card wants to come out. <laughs> I am going to pull. <laughs> it's crystal clear. I'm not sure it's crystal clear. <laughs> Be on your best behavior. There's something here about, oops, <laughs> that's funny. Fatigue came out. I'm gonna, I sort of stumbled on the card and it, it made it fall. There's no coincidences, right? <clears throat> I think the secret on this person's part, um, whatever love they're extending here, um, somehow I think it drains them a little bit because I think they're really um, sending you quite a lot of love they're doing it in a in a matter that is very righteous quote unquote um, being on their best behavior means they're very attentive and clear on making this like the most uh, pristine uh, love right like that has no 
pollution, no, um, I think this is drawing a lot out of them to really keep this um, pure as um, beneficial as possible, right? And probably like the the way it's being transmitted um, is tiresome because it's taking out of their own energy to give to you. I'm gonna draw one trinket for the Ace of Cups. <laughs> it comes through the air. It comes through, um, it travels through the, through the winds. On the clouds, in the ether, it's, it's, um, and it feels, it's free, right? The person is giving it to you freely, out of their own free will. And for free, meaning they're not expecting anything else in return. It's very selfless here, especially with the Queen, um, Queen of Cups, even if she's in reverse, but mostly the High Priestess. She does it with a higher purpose in mind. It's not even about the person, right? It's the person is removed of this energy. This is highly, like, somewhat, it's highly super, how do you say, it's super conscious. The person is, is aligning the best they can, uh, really wanting you to receive this. Wow, Capricorn. That is a rare occurrence. This is uh, what I call pure love or a love with a, you know, like, I don't know, the most, uh, I guess the highest kind of love, <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think uh, somehow you could decide to be appreciative of this, right? Even if um, the relationship in, in the reality of things is not a thing. You know, we don't even see like necessarily conflict here. We, we only see that everything was um, from this person's perspective that it's, it's out of their control. It's really over. Um, they're over, they're getting over, they've gotten over the disappointment. It's, they're beyond that, so it's not even about, they're at a different place, right? They used to have a lot of love. They, they're not applying their free will in that direction, right, to be mending things. They're like, they've switched the energy. The choice of not walking away is because they're creating something else and sending it to you in a different form a much elevated form. It feels, I want to say, that you still need it somehow. Anyways, I hope something resonated in here, in this reading for you. If it did, um, please share the video, subscribe, and like. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Good night.